Hello everybody. So in this uh, short video training, we are going to look at how to use the meeting settings in MS Teams, uh, just as an act as safeguarding to prevent students from joining your meeting, your class before you do, and to prevent them staying in the class after you have left. Uh, it can also prevent them from ejecting each other uh, and muting each other during the class. Those settings should be by default because they're attendees, but if they're not, then uh, these settings will prevent this from happening. So I'm gonna start off by sharing my screen with you. And we'll just go into Teams and open up the calendar. And we'll create a new meeting. So this is going to be HNC, Engineering. Just from nine thirty to eleven thirty, and I'll invite myself to that meeting. Okay, and we'll save that. And then I need to. So the meeting's now been created. So I just now need to find that meeting and open it again. OK, and there it is. Now, now I'm editing the meeting. I've got here meeting options. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to set up the lobby. So the lobby is exactly the same as the waiting room in uh, Zoom. So nobody can come into the meeting until I invite them in. So at the moment, everybody can bypass the lobby. And I'm going to change that setting to I've got people in my organization or only me. So I'm going to set it to only me. So now everybody who attends my session will have to go through the lobby first and be invited in by me. Then we're going to come down to the bottom here and who can present at the moment it's everyone and I'm going to change that setting to only me. If I want learners to present or share the screen during the lesson, I can turn them on individually, but this one um, will stop them from uh, presenting, sharing their screen. It will make them attendees in the session, which means they cannot mute others and they cannot eject others from the meeting as well. OK, so we'll uh, click on save. And there we're done. So now uh, with those meeting settings, with the lobby on, uh, nobody can enter uh, until I allow them in. So they will appear in my participants list. I'll get a little warning. I can either click on a tick or a cross and allow them into the meeting or not allow them into the meeting. OK, so we'll just pop into PowerPoint for a second and see what that might look like. So here's a meeting with John where I've set those controls up and you can see that I'm the presenter and my only attendee is John. So he shows in the participant list as um, as as, a, as an attendee. So uh, let's put the. Um, there's a pointer on. So when you're in a, an MS Teams meeting, if you click on participants, which is the two little people here, this side window will show and that just shows that uh, who the presenters are, who the attendees are. So I can change John's settings. I can change each individual settings if I want them to present. Uh, but just by changing those two, uh, it means John can't get into the meeting until I allow him in. Uh, and it means he can't share his screen. He can't mute other people and he can't eject people from the meeting. OK, so if I hover my mouse over John's name in the participant list, I'll get three little dots, which if I click on those, it gives me a whole range of options. So I can at this point mute participants. Now, if I had other people in the meeting, I would be uh, having the option up here to mute everybody as well. Uh, John, although I can mute John, he can then, if he chooses to, unmute himself again. But I do have that option to mute him. Um, if he persists in talking when I don't want him to, then I can remove John from the meeting. Now, if I remove John from the meeting, just uh, click on the next screen so we can see what that looks like a bit larger. So th those are your options, essentially, when you click on the three dots at the end of a participant's name. If I remove John from the meeting completely, 
uh, then he will not be able to get back in again until he enters the lobby and I let him back in again. So if I do remove him, he can't get back into the meeting again unless I allow him to because of the lobby settings. So really the last thing to uh, to think about is um, in terms of um, ending the meeting. So when you end the meeting, you will want to make sure that your learners don't linger on in the meeting after you've finished. So the way to do that is wait in the meeting until all of your learners have left. Um, if they haven't left at the end of the meeting, then you can use the participant lists to remove them from the meeting. And then you can close the meeting because they can't get back in again because they'll have to go through the lobby. So there we go. There's uh, a few safeguarding controls uh, with the MS Teams. Hope that makes sense and um, hope that makes us all a bit more safe and secure at using MS Teams. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.